President Erdogan is weaponizing the misery of millions of refugees in Syria. Ignoring the history of Napoleon and even Adolf Hitler, President Erdogan is making war on two fronts. He's fighting the West and the East, both at the same time. Let's start with the West. They gave him billions and billions of euros to solve their refugee crisis by imprisoning millions of refugees inside Turkey. He's banked the money and he's burst open the gates. Greece and Italy, two of the poorer countries in the European Union these days, both of them broken by neoliberal austerity policies, are being left as the dumping ground for Britain, the United States, France, and other European countries' crimes. He's making war on the East by his madcap adventure in Syria, imagining that he can extend, in a kind of sultanate, the Ottoman Empire into Syria itself, seeking effectively to annex the Idlib province, which would be bad enough, except he's trying to annex it to keep it as a base camp for ISIS and Al-Qaeda and the alphabet soup of Islamist barbarism and extremism. He is harboring some of the worst throat-cutting, head-chopping criminals in the world so that later they can be used in another war against Damascus, against President Assad. In doing so, he comes inevitably, ineluctably, into conflict with Russia, which after all these years of standing by its ally is not going to allow that to happen. Thus, Russia and Turkey, a member of NATO, are now toe-to-toe, -to -toe, gun to gun, jet to jet, tank to tank, inside Syria itself. Once upon a time, I should confess, I was an admirer of President Erdogan. He seemed to promise the ability to solve Turkey's internal problem with the 20% or so of its citizens of Kurdish nationality, ethnicity, or origin. He seemed to believe, in the words of his then foreign minister, Davutoglu, in no quarrels with the neighbors. And Turkey's economy was vaultingly successful, its growth rate even higher than China's. Now the economy is in free fall. There are quarrels, no, wars with all of the neighbors, including the ancient neighbor of Greece, and his war against his own Kurdish minority has begun again. How foolish I was to imagine that Erdogan was the answer to Turkey's long, century-long conflict of identity. Was it a country of the East? Was it a country of the West? Now it's at war with East and West at the same time. The meeting in Moscow between President Putin and President Erdogan may have begun some sense permeating Turkish policy towards Syria. We must hope that it's the first in a series of meetings that changes the situation on the ground. But any solution which leaves Erdogan occupying Syria and harboring ISIS and Al-Qaeda militants there is no solution at all. Every country needs to join together to snuff out and forever the existential threat posed by ISIS and Al-Qaeda and their fellow cutthroats. Nobody should be arming them, financing them, proselytizing for them, and least of all, giving them sanctuary.